Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today we're presenting a wiring tutorial video for connecting the SkyDroid G20 remote controller to the ZT6 gimbal. CZT6 Mini Optical Pod Dual is a mini size and lightweight optical pod integrated with an optical sensor and a thermal imaging sensor. Dual sensors collaborate efficiently to detect heat sources and measure temperature, to capture a clear picture and provide a broad view. SkyDroid G20 remote controller is equipped with Qualcomm's latest 6 nanometers processor and the Android 13 system, which can easily perform hardware decoding on H.264, H.265 and 4K video streams, and can run all kinds of ground station software smoothly. The video consists of three main parts. What products are used in this test? How to do the wiring? How is it presented? What products are used in this test? The products used in this test include SkyDroid G20 Remote Controller, CZT6 Gimbal, and an 11.1V battery. The cables used include ZT6 Video Signal Transmission Cable, SkyDroid G20 Receiver Power Cable, ZT6 Power Cable, and an XT60 to JST adapter. How to do the wiring? Connect the LAN port of the G20 receiver to the network port of the ZT6. The G20 LAN connector is GH1.254 pin, and the ZT6 network port uses a GH1.259 pin connector. Connect the power port of the SkyDroid G20 receiver to the adapter. The G20 power cable has an XT30 connector on one end and a JST 2.54mm connector on the other. Connect the ZT6 power port to the adapter as well. The ZT6 power cable uses a GH1.254 pin connector on one end and an XT30 connector on the other. Finally, connect the adapter to the battery. How is it presented? Turn on the remote controller and launch the CFPV app. We can now see the image from the ZT6. The side buttons allow you to control zoom, take photos and record video. Tap the top right corner to enter the camera settings page, where you can switch the camera view to thermal imaging, or display both views simultaneously. At this point when zooming only the visible light image zooms.
To enable zoom on the thermal image as well, go to the camera settings and turn on thermal zoom. This way both images can zoom simultaneously. We can also assign the main stream and substream to display visible and thermal imaging separately. In the first settings page, enable camera address B as the substream address, so the secondary view appears as a small window. There are over a dozen thermal imaging color palettes available for switching. Open QGC. Go to Application Settings and under the General tab. Set the video type to RTSP Video Stream then paste the ZT6 video address. Return to the flight screen and you will see the ZT6 image. This is the C version of the QGC ground station, so it supports gimbal control, zooming, photo taking, and video recording. The setup for the thermal imaging address is the same. This concludes the wiring tutorial video for connecting the SkyDroid G20 remote controller to the ZT6 gimbal. Thank you for watching and supporting us. If you have any questions about the content or would like us to dive deeper into any part in future videos, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to follow the World Drone Market channel, we'll continue bringing more drone equipment reviews, tutorials and practical guides. See you in the next video.